Now I'm not totally sure if the um, if the graveyard's the most difficult secret level of the bunch. It might be. But if it isn't, then the skein of despair is. Auditor, if you please. Leaving the key, your thoughts turn to home, and the few countrymen that survived Despero's onslaught. Do they know of your victory? Do they search for you even now? Do they even still live? Stepping through a hidden portal, tight corridors, and the ever-present stench of these benighted lands bring you back to your senses. As long as your body and soul are yours to command, this battle will continue. Things are off to a rocky start when it puts you in the middle of a, uh, a wall maze. A wall maze where Ophidians can attack you from above, no less. Good. Just... Now it can be difficult to take them out from down here, but I advise you do that to as many of them as you can. Preferably with the Hell Staff, since you'll have plenty of ammo for it laying around down below. Because it's actually possible to get on top of this wall maze. But once you do, all those Ovidians are going to have free line of sight to you. And a free line of fire. I saw you up there. Don't you be trying to pull hit and run nonsense on me. Oh, and there's also a pretty high lich count here. And a pretty large number of disciples, and a small number of gargoyles. I'm, I'm not- I don't remember if there are any were-dragons in this level. Man, it's hard to see those guys. With all that seizurific lightning go- lighting going on in those, uh... I heard you. Is he dead? I think he is. I think I got them both. Oof, that actually left a bit of an imprint on my, uh... Eye. <laughs> you know how, like, if you stare at a light for too long, and then if you look away, you see kind of this black spot in your eye? Yeah, it's kind of leaving one of those, kind of a brown streak down the center of my vision. You know, there's actually, um... I've heard there's some, like, drawings and pictures and stuff that use those sorts of imprints. Where, um, it's like you don't see anything in the picture itself. It just looks like a, a sort of mishmash of colors and shapes that don't really seem to have any sort of clarity to them. Um, until you stare at it for long enough to put an imprint on your eye. Um, then when you look away at something, the imprint is there and it'll show you what was in the image. Where the heck is... Oh, it's on the other side. A 
Okay, this one. Yes, this one. Good thing I still have a ring left over, because I'm going to need that. Crap, 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 crap. I really don't want to lose this. Don't make me lose this. Crap. totally wasted that ring. And I'm not totally sure how much of this tome has gone to waste because of me ambling off these platforms. Oh, seriously? It went after the Saber Claw there? I definitely took out all the Ophidians in these little, um, whatever those are. And that cleans out those little bunker places. Yeah, those really do look like bunkers, don't they? Hallways are also packed with saber claws too. This actually seems to be a bit of a smaller enemy variety than there has been in some of the other levels in this place. It's like the strongest of each variant of monster. Like we got Ophidians, the strongest ranged enemy. And the saber claws, the strongest melee enemy. And Disciples, the only magic user, although they're pretty strong. Although then again, there are I don't think there are any Molotars in this level. Do I have a torch? Okay, yes I do. Jeez, how am I supposed to get over there without jumping? Ugh, whatever, screw it. Because I'm pretty sure you can't open that without um, getting behind to the... or without getting inside that tunnel. Wait a minute. Maybe you can. Yes, you can. Silly me. Armor. Crossbow. Another freaking snake.
Oh, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but the crossbow is actually a bit more effective against Ophidians than you might think at first. Also, ah, seizure warning. Okay, that'll be the last time I go in those tunnels, I swear. Oh right, the Gargoyle Swarm doesn't come out until later. Sorry, I had a burp there. Uh, where was... Okay. Yellow key's down this path. Skein of despair. More like... Epileptic fit-inducing snake halls of despair. Although then again, if you have epilepsy, you really should not be playing video games. I guess that's a, that's a bit of a given. One tome. I have multiple eggs, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to use them. Whatever, I'll use this on him. Do you really have to be that much of a jerk? Okay, those things apparently are so heavy they can barely control their own bouncing. Noted for the future. Again, I know I'm not supposed to jump like that, but I always keep jumping on anyway. 
If nothing else, then it's a time saver. My God! This thing lasts long enough, hopefully the um these barriers lowering down won't cost too much time. Ah crap! on this one? Guess not. Ow. Excuse me, I'd like to heal without getting burned, please. Yeah, picking up the key lowers the, um, the blockage in front of the door, but flying over to one of those platforms will remove the blockage. Definitely seems like there's quite a bit of mechanical stuff going on. may need this ring. Not a single F was given that day. Oh goodness, this, this could be a problem.
So that's the last of the secret levels. Everything from here on out is going to be totally centered to the game. Let's see, what's next? I think it's the Hydrotter. No, it's the Courtyard. I think I'll do this one, then I'll take a break.